Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you another range report on my little bolt gun CZ527 carbine in 7.62x39. Today I have a couple different things going on. One, switched out the optic on this rifle. I now have this Zeiss Terra 3X. It's a 4 to 12. Definitely helped me refine my sight picture down there. And speaking of down there, I have four targets set up. I'm going to go ahead and put five rounds on one, five rounds on the other. Then I'm going to throw this guy on there. Uh, surefire suppressor, five on one, five on the other. See what kind of groups I can get. Today, as far as what I'm shooting, it's going to be this stuff, which is the Federal Fusion. It's a 123 grain, 7.62 by 39. So I'm going to jam it up and we'll get going. All right, we got this first magazine jammed up. We'll go see how this stuff does. All right. That was the last round of my first string, and the sun is bright, I need a hat on. Alright, that was the last round of the second group, go down and check them. When I zeroed that rifle, I zeroed it with my suppressor with some steel case something, and so I think when I put my suppressor on, it'll probably shift my groups back up, but this is my first group, here's my second group. Up here it looks like about just over 2.3 inches. This guy down here, uh, well, actually just under 2.3 inches. Neither is spectacular, but whatever. I'll throw my suppressor on and see what I get. These next two groups, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot suppressed. I have the Surefire SOCOM 762 Mini. And I'm going to go ahead and get this guy on here and see what kind of groups I get with the suppressor. All right, that was the first round of the second group. All right, that was my last round. I'm gonna check them. Up top is the first group I shot suppressed. Here's the second group I shot suppressed, both of which are consistently underwhelming. Up top, looking at... We're at about just over 2.5 inches, and down here, so this is probably the furthest, just over 2.6 inches, neither of which is very impressive. For me, that Federal Fusion, most certainly not worth the premium, largely in part because of this gun. Stuff probably shoots better in other guns, but in this gun, that's what I was able to get with it. And to that end, everyone wants a laser beam. A lot of factors though, like is the gun actually capable of it consistently? Are you capable of it? Is the ammo capable of it? And what's the intended role? It's really fun to go out and shoot really small groups on paper. Admittedly, it's really fun. The intent of this gun though is to drop a deer within 100 yards or maybe a pig. And to that end, 2.5 MOA is more than reasonable. And honestly, once you push back and start putting rounds on steel, whether it's two MOA or half MOA, you're probably not gonna tell the difference until you stretch this thing really far out there, which you're probably not gonna do with 762 by 39. Heard a lot of reports of people getting in amazing groups, haven't seen them, but that's what I got today with this little rifle, and you know what? It's always fun to shoot. And with steel cased, it's cheap to shoot, so I'll probably stick to that. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.